Hi, my name is Rich Bukiri from Pointer and Bukiri, and today I want to talk about why is the insurance company not making you an offer? So at the beginning of a case, you probably were contacted or you may have been contacted by an insurance adjuster that seemed like they were your best friend, that they really wanted to know all about your injuries. They may have had you sign an authorization so that they could get your medical records. Maybe they took care of your personal property issues fairly quickly. But then since then, you haven't heard from them in maybe several months. And you're wondering, why haven't they made you an offer? Well, what you need to understand is that, first of all, they have no incentive to move the case forward. They don't make money by paying out uh, insurance claims. So you need to keep that in mind. The incentive is for you to move the case forward because you're dealing with a timeline called the statute of limitations. If you don't get the case settled by a certain period of time, then you're going to have to file a lawsuit to preserve your claim. If not, then your claim could be lost forever. The other problem that you might have is one of bargaining power, you not having any leverage. So the leverage that an attorney would have when dealing with an insurance company is that if they don't settle with you or they don't bargain with you in good faith, then you can file a lawsuit against them. And when you do that, then the case is going to either have to be referred to their in-house counsel or worse yet for them, they'll have to hire an attorney to defend the case. And so they may have incentive based on that to try to get the case done pre-litigation. But if you're not an attorney and you don't have any experience with bringing a lawsuit, then you may not have the leverage that an attorney would have. Finally, it's so incumbent upon you to make the first move. You need to move the case forward. You need to make the initial demand. So once you're done treating, you need to gather all your medical bills and then you could write a demand letter. But at the very least, you need to throw out the first number of what you think is fair compensation and give them something to respond to. And then if they don't respond to it, then maybe you do need to consult with an attorney.